So I've had a really exciting week with these two Porsche in my hand. And what an interesting world today because we have the traditional gas powered V8 engine Porsche Panamera refreshed for 2021. And we have the all new Taycan, which is fully electric EV. And they are uh, so different, but also very similar in many ways. They have a similar size, similar intent in terms of the capacity of the interior space uh, and the basic dimensions, but they serve somewhat of a different purpose. Because this is, of course, what we love about the Porsche. It's got the four liter V8 engine with a wonderful sound amazing steering feel and this is what we crave for when it comes to Porsche brand but this is the new future of Porsche this is the Taycan fully electric there's no gasoline engine of course and this represents what is going to take place for all of us in the near future as more and more car companies switch over to fully electric configuration so what would I pick as an automotive engineer which one would I pick as a day-to-day -day driver and which one would I keep for a long term if I had a choice between the gasoline engine V8 powered Panamera GTS and the fully electric Porsche Taycan talk about the Panamera for a moment. This is the GTS version, which is a sweet spot in my view, because it has almost all of the performance attributes of the more expensive turbo model, but at a somewhat of a reasonable price. Of course, this isn't a cheap model by any means, but it's a wonderful combination of performance enhancement, the driving feel, and of course, the amazing uh, four liter V8 engine that has 473 horsepower. Uh, so the question is, would I pick a Taycan or Panamera as my daily driver and something to keep for the long haul? Well, I have a literally an engine oil running through my vein. I'm a car guy through and through. So of course I love anything with an amazing engine underneath the hood here. So obviously I would tend to favor something with an actual ICE or internal combustion engine. And so the GTS represent what I love about Porsche. The engine is amazing. The steering feels just about right. And the combination and the balance of the way this thing performs on the road and also on the highway is unbeatable. But the world is moving toward SUV. It has been for a while now. So there's less and less interest in a sort of four door slash five door hatchback like the Panamera. So we don't even know if this is model is going to stay for a long term. In fact, I believe in a few years time, as more and more people move toward the likes of Cayenne and maybe even the new Macan that's coming up in a year or so, uh, there will be less and less interest in Panamera, which is really sad because as a car uh, engineer and someone who loves to drive, this is kind of the best of both worlds. You get the sporty car feeling, but the practicality of a four door and actually lots of cargo space in the back. But this formula of a five door sedan or five door hatchback is definitely going away as more and more people move toward SUV. So maybe one of the reasons why you might want to buy the Panamera GTS or Panamera in general over the Taycan is the fact that uh, this configuration, this version, of a car like this is simply going away probably for good and Porsche will begin to spend more and more time and energy toward vehicles like the Taycan because it's the future of the Porsche and so you're not going to have uh, internal combustion engine four door or five door models for a very long time and definitely the V8 engine will likely go away at some point. So if I were to pick the Panamera over Taycan, the number one reason for doing that is the fact that this is going to be a legendary vehicle in a few years. Maybe it won't be a collector's car by any means, but it's going to have a special place in my heart. And for those people who love to drive, who love to enjoy the V8 engine and that power of the feeling when you're driving through the curvy road, well, it's pretty unbeatable. So again, the first reason why you might want to buy the Panamera GTS uh, in comparison to a Taycan is that it has all of the traditional feel of a Porsche wrapped inside a beautiful body and still gives you something pretty close to a Porsche 911 or 718 feel in terms of the sheer power and sheer driving pleasure. 
The second reason why I might pick something like the Panamera GTS versus the Taycan is the fact that this is definitely more fun to drive. Of course, that's helped a lot by the fact that it has amazing and a wonderful 4-liter V8 engine that sings a song or two. Every time you step on the gas pedal, all that amazing sound from the exhaust and just the sheer power and torque coming through your hands, well, that's something you're not going to get in an electric car, at least not in that format. And when you drive this thing around curvy corners, around mountain roads, which I have been doing for both cars, back and forth, well, this one has a more of a natural feeling. Now, many years ago, Porsche, like many other car manufacturers, moved to an electric mechanical steering design, away from hydraulic steering. So that means there's no more hydraulic pump that's pumping out fluid. So you have, uh, generally speaking, less steering feel. But Porsche, more than any other brands in the world, were able to figure out a way to give you some of that feeling back into your hands, despite the fact that the steering mechanism is mostly electromechanical. So uh, there's no question that on the regular road, and especially in the winding road, there's a natural feeling of the steering actually talking to you on the Panama GTS, much in the same way you get that good feedback in, a, let's say, something like a Porsche 911. Whereas in a Taycan, which again I will talk about in a minute or so, has a more of a digital feel. It's got a, a pretty accurate steering, but it cannot replicate the same kind of feel that is possible in an internal combustion engine vehicle like the Panama GTS. So if I'm taking a car for a pure joy, for, uh, to just to enjoy myself for the day, there's no question the Panama GTS with the V8, with the great steering feel, trumps over the Taycan EV, despite the fact that Taycan comes pretty close. So the Panama GTS is definitely more neutral, more accurate, more precise, and gives you that Porsche feel when you drive um, compared to something like a Taycan. The third and the final point why the Panama GTS could make more sense than the Taycan is because it's a gasoline power engine where you just fill up and go. It's a proven engine, proven chassis. Uh, mechanically speaking, it's a solid model. Uh, and you don't have to ever worry about range anxiety like you do have to worry with an EV because even though the Taycan has a pretty good overall range, at some point you might forget to charge or you might have to go long distance and you just can't quite make it with the battery remaining in the vehicle. But with the Panamera, of course, the traditional internal combustion engine, you fill up and you go. Now there is an e-hybrid model you can buy in the Panamera lineup, which is a plug-in hybrid. It has a very short range, but if you really want uh, the combination of uh, a good range and an internal combustion engine, but still want some of the benefit of an uh, electric car, you could go for um, an e-hybrid version of the Panamera, but a GTS isn't available in that configuration. So if you want sweet spot of having a performance attributes combined with a pretty reasonable pricing within the Panamera lineup, the GTS is still the way to go. But there are a number of reasons why the Taycan might make more sense to you. So this is the new Porsche Taycan, which is a whole new member of the Porsche family. And it's an amazing transformation because we are moving from a gasoline-powered vehicle like the Panamera to a fully electric model. Now, I have been in Stuttgart many times, maybe about 12 or 13 times. And at the time, this is about two years ago, they were just building the new manufacturing production center for the Taycan. It's an all new manufacturing, an all new model, and of course, is new bumper to bumper. So it's a pretty exciting time for Porsche as it pivots and moves away from a gasoline powered vehicles to fully electric models. So this is the future of Porsche, and this is what is going to happen more and more as we move into EV world. So the Taycan is an important model for Porsche, and of course, it has to be better than all of the other EVs out there because it has the Porsche crest and Porsche brand behind it. So do I like it as much or more or less than the Panamera GTS? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. The Panamera GTS V8 engine, as I mentioned, it's a beautiful, amazing uh, art, work of art, and there's nothing that can come close to that. But there's something pretty special about the Taycan as well, because the engine has an immense amount of torque, of course, because it's an electric motor, and it presses you against the seat in a way that a normal gas-powered car can't do. 
So what would be the three reasons why you would pick the Porsche Taycan over a Panamera or Panamera GTS? Well, for one, you never ever have to use gasoline, of course. So that's a pretty obvious reason. You don't have to spend a penny on gas. Whereas on the Panamera GTS, it's a pretty thirsty V8 and you're going to gobble up quite a amount of fuel if you're using the car a lot. But on a Taycan, well, you do your usual uh, fill up in terms of the charging and you never ever have to go to a gas station again. So that's a pretty obvious reason to buy the Taycan. If, if one, you want to save some money, but also two, you don't want to contribute to the whole world of using fuel and oil again. Uh, so there's something uh, important about the Taycan because it represents the future of the automotive industry. The second reason is both practical and philosophical. Do you want to invest into the future of EVs and move into the new era? Or do you want to hold on to the traditional gasoline engine powered vehicles and enjoy the V8 engine for many years to come? So that's something of a personal choice. But keep in mind that as we move into the future, there will be less and less demand for fuel thirsty V8 engine in terms of used car market. So I think the Taycan as an electric vehicle will have a higher and a better resale value. It might be easier to sell this than that one down the road, who knows? So I know this can get a bit philosophical, but the whole idea is, do you wanna invest into something that it represents the future of Porsche, or do you wanna hang on to the traditional thinking around the gasoline engine powered vehicles? So that's really the number point number two, is that EV is the future of Porsche and something that you might want to invest into. The third reason why the Taycan could be a better choice than the Panamera GTS is because it's actually quite fun to drive, but in a very different way than the Panamera GTS. So that one has a big V8, lots of sound, lots of feedback onto the steering, and as you step on the gas, you feel that engine come into life, as I mentioned earlier. On a Taycan, of course, it's a fully electric model with no engine at all, but because motor have an infinite torque, you step on the gas pedal, or actually in this case, electric pedal, then you get instantaneous amount of torque, and the thing takes off like a rocket. And that feeling, that feeling, no matter how much you love driving, cannot be replicated in a gasoline engine vehicle like the Panamera GTS. It is a very different feel and it's pretty addictive. It does feel a little bit digital versus analog in the sense that the steering is accurate and precise, but it doesn't quite have the same kind of feedback that the Panamera has. So clearly this one feels more like a natural Porsche in terms of the overall feel. And this feels a little bit different. I wouldn't say it's like a video game feel, but it does feel a little bit more remote and virtual than something like a Panamera. It has though this immense torque. And so when you're driving and you just want to step on the gas to pass a car or climb up the hill, you are rewarded with this rocket ship feel. Again, that is very different from gasoline engine powered vehicles. So I actually think that some people might prefer the driving feel of the Taycan simply because of the immense feel and the immediate driving feel that is very different from a gasoline engine vehicles good steering, accurate, precise, and actually the steering moves pretty quickly and the car points exactly where you point it. And those are some good attributes of the Taycan and in many ways for a short drive to and from a store or from a, a supermarket, I might actually prefer the Taycan versus the Panamera GTS. That one just seems to feel like it takes a little bit more effort to drive. So I just gave you three reasons why the Taycan might be a better choice than the Panamera GTS. You might have other reasons to pick either the red Panamera GTS or the white Taycan. At the end of the day, these two are beautiful Porsches with slightly different purpose and intent, but they provide the most fun to drive you can ever have in a four door or five door hatchback configuration. So you probably can't go wrong either with the Panamera GTS with a beautiful V8 engine or the Taycan with the immense torque of an electric motor. And so it's really up to you and I'm kind of interested in your comments. If you let me know in the comments below, which one would you pick if you had a choice? I suppose if we can have both, that would be the ideal world. But if you had to choose one over the other, which would you pick as your daily driver? Well, I've already selected mine, which is this one right here. But if I can have both at my disposal, Obviously, that would be amazing in life. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know again, which one would you take for your daily drive?